الحمد لله مجيب من دعا وفاتح الباب لعبد قرا اذ قولوه امن يجيب مضطر اذا دعا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتناب ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني احب في الله توداي ان ذا وولد از ا لوت اوف بيبل هو ار انجيج ان ايفل ان ا لوت اوف بيبل دوين ايفل تو ذا اذر بارتي 99% of the people are engaged in doing evil. They love evil. They swim in evil. Particularly the evil of magic. Today I'm going to narrate to you a story of a brother. And the brother is anonymous. He says, make dua for him. And don't forget to make dua for the believing men and women out there. He begins by him saying, I was 23 years old. and i started business and then from there i started flourishing everything i touch was money at the age of 26 i had so much money that my mom and my dad advised me to marry and they arranged a marriage their choice of a woman to marry and i got married to her while moving around doing trips my business he says was to travel around to do business buying here buying there buying there selling there selling there and um, he was making money while he's doing that he found a new woman online and he chit chatted and talked to her and he was anxious to see this woman and they opened the camera they look at each other and he admired that woman so much that he arranged to meet they met in the restaurant they ate and talked more and the life was moving on like that for a while while the brother traveled around one of the days she met him again in the restaurant and she demanded listen you know you travel in a lot and for me i don't know what's going to happen to you you may die anything may happen to you i need something as a memory of yours can you give me your t-shirt or something of yours and the brother removed his t-shirt and gave it to the woman and she took it and the brother traveled to his business he traveled while in business his situation straight away started to change he started thinking too much about this woman he cannot stop without speaking to her he cannot function without seeking her advice and everything situation deteriorated now he came to a point where his work is not more important anymore and his wife he's divorced her within three months his work is not important his wife wife divorced only thinking is he can stay somewhere just looking at the phone waiting for the woman to call because the woman told her there's some certain time that she he can call or she can call her and she is the only one who calls life goes on the family in the house started noticing difference on their brother he stopped doing all job he's just at home the mother passed away the father passed away remaining the biggest sister in the family the head of the family and the sister started worrying and say do something is wrong with my brother i need to do something the sister says there's something's not right with my brother and she start telling brother you need to go back you need to go and start doing your business you see you need to go you need to move on with your life you need to get married when they they mention married he goes ballistic he goes mad because his mind is not there anymore he's been captured by the woman the sister took decided to find a sheikh and the sheikh come and read, read read on him he agreed now before the sheikh reading on him if he wants to make wudu there was a problem he feels not right he feels anxious he feel movement in the body if he wants to read salah to pray salah the same if he wants to read the quran 
the same. That is when he agreed to seek help. And they brought a sheikh. Sheikh read and found out he's got sihr. And after sometimes they called another sheikh. He read on him and he found out he's got a specific type of sihr. The black magic of love. And he says, some of your clothes was taken or some of your property was taken. And Allah knows best. Now he narrates. He says, once I've heard that, I had to push myself so hard that I need to pray five times, even if I'm feeling so much pain, and I need to read Quran. Every time he prays, he feels movement inside his body. Electric shoot, shoots inside, like in the blood, like someone is just running fast inside him. He says, every time I read Surah Al-Baqarah, because it was giving me so much sukun, I feel some, something is going fast from head to toe to other side, head to toe to other side. And when I finish, I go to sleep. I sleep nightmares, whether it's the day or it's in the night. And then I wake up with headache, so much headache, like the magic, the magic has been renewed. And as he goes, he says, every night, there's some certain time in the night, I hear some noises outside and I wake up and I see cats, five cats or so many cats outside my front garden. This is every night. My situation is like this. Now let me pause a bit and narrate and quote a verse of the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما أصاب من حسنات فمن الله وما أصاب من سيئات فمن أنفسكم every good good comes from Allah and every evil you bring it with your own hand number one is that this boy was given a wife a range marriage which he did not want but he agreed to it because of the parents respecting the parents number two he went and fetched some evil woman with his own hand. And this is what happened to him today. Now he goes and says, my life become like this. Business out to the window. The woman out to the window. It becomes a battle for myself to be steadfast because if i don't look after myself i'm finished he says back in the days money was just like that for me but now there's no money but it's me getting closer to allah or me being better he says i did not know allah but now alhamdulillah i know allah allah has pulled me by force to know him through this calamity of black magic from 26 to 38, I am 38 now, he says. Thus, is 12 years now that he is like that, struggling with his life. If he just relax a bit, the symptoms comes back. But Alhamdulillah says, it's not like before. I'm okay now, Alhamdulillah. And I ask the brothers and sisters to make dua for me and may Allah make it easy for every brother and a sister who's suffering from magic because whoever's doing this to you is oppression and on oppression is darkness after darkness in the day of judgment now one point I like to make is that there's so many brothers who go and find women online and they end up finding very, very bad choice. Or sisters finding men online. And they end up finding a very horrible marriage. Or a very horrible husband. Or a very horrible woman. There. This is the same with arranged marriage. Sometimes 90% of the arranged marriage sometimes is better. Because they were parents find for you what is better for you. I ask Allah to protect the believing men and women out there. This is the state of so many brothers and sisters who are inflicted with the magic. Magic is serious. So hold tight to the ways of Muhammad 
صلى الله عليه وسلم and be careful who you meet online be very careful who you meet online not everybody who's online is better and be very careful who is your friend you may end up having a very evil friend stay tuned for more abu yahya from the rock talk wa akhir da'wana wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al haqq